All right, Patrick Rooney here from Old School, OldSchoolUS.com. Just want to make a quick video on power building and six benefits for older men like me. And I'm going to go through these fairly quickly. I will expand on this uh, in a video coming up, uh, more on power building. And um, <clears throat> we're down in the dungeon here for another video. And we'll probably be making a lot of dungeon videos from now on in. First of all, power building. I love power building. It's probably my, I, I'm sure it's my favorite way to work out that there is. Now, power building is probably kind of what it sounds like. It's a cross between power lifting, which is strength, you know, the three main lifts, the bench, the, uh, the squat and the deadlift are the three power, lifter, power lifting uh, events. And then power building is power lifting and then body building kind of put together. Body building is more, you know, whereas power lifting is using compound movements, you know, uh, multi-limb movements and things like that. Bodybuilding might have just simple movements sometimes, you know, like a curl or something like that. And bodybuilding is, is a little bit more of, of a for show type of, uh, type of thing, whereas powerlifting, of course, is for strength only. So you're taking kind of the best of both worlds, hopefully. Uh, strength and the uh, physique building and, uh, of, of bodybuilding. Not just physique building in general of bodybuilding, but the idea in bodybuilding that I love of making the muscles even, evening out the muscles, not just for looks, but for function. You'll notice that a lot as you get older. Bodybuilding is not just for looks. Yeah, a lot of it is actually for function. And people don't put uh, functional and bodybuilding together that often, but it's actually quite functional if it's done correctly. All right, so the six benefits of power building. Now, there's benefits for power building for anybody, but I'm, in this case, I'm talking about older men specifically. Being an older man and having a lot of people that I talk to out there who are older and want to keep training, and do it safely and do it well. Um, power building fits uh, fits some nice some some. It, it it checks off a lot of the boxes in my opinion. All right, so number one, power building uh, benefit for older men. In no particular order, uh, but they're all important in my mind. So this is just the way I wrote them down. The first one is it is a it's a weight bearing exercise. As you get older, it becomes even it's is important to. Uh, lift heavy weights for weight bearing for what it does for your bones. Just holding uh, heavy weights is great for the bones and bone density. You can make the density of your bones more dense <laughs> by lifting heavy weight. And power building is one of the great ways to do that. You're going to be pulling some heavy weight. It won't, it's not, not for just lifting really light weights. That ain't going to do it. This is bone density stuff, and this is stuff that um, men really like to do. Uh, women like to do it as well, but you know, men really like to lift heavy weights, um, more so generally than, than women, or anybody. Okay, the second one is uh, CNS. The second benefit of powerlifting for older men is CNS. Now what is CNS? CNS is central nervous system. I talk about this a lot. The central nervous system is the system that, that, that really get really cranked up when you're doing, when you're lifting compound, uh, not just compound weights, but when you're doing things that really get, take a lot of huffing and puffing, as we like to say. When you're doing lots of huffing and puffing, you're moving around, you're lifting heavy weight, you are, like, can you imagine yourself doing squats, you know, some, a good set of heavy squats or, or deadlifts? When I deadlift or squat or do something that's dealing with heavy iron, uh, I really feel it. It's a very taxing to the system, and it's a nice kind of taxing, but you really feel it, and that is central nervous system work. So you're working not just your muscles and your tendons and your joints and bones and all that stuff, which is great. You're also working your central nervous system, which is kind of outside of those systems, but, but works in conjunction with those systems. Now the third uh, benefit uh, for power building for older men is uh, that it's, well, there's two, three, number three and number four are going to be kind of together. Number three is simple. It's fairly simple. Not quite as simple as just power lifting by itself because there's such few um, exercises involved with power lifting. Of course, a power lifter isn't just going to keep 
just going to do only the power lifts. Generally, they're going to do a few other lifts to kind of, as we say, balance the way a bodybuilder would, balance the front and the back or, or the up and the down. Uh, uh, you have to do some of that balance work in order to keep injury free. So power lifters are not just going to do the three power lifts. They're going to be doing other lifts as well. So uh, whereas a bodybuilder may do a ton of lifts and may go through I'm just going to throw out a number. There's, there's all sorts of numbers that uh, a, a, a bodybuilder could do a number of different uh, lifts during a workout session. But I mean, it could easily be 12 uh, different exercises. It could be twice that. It could be a whole lot of lifts. Whereas when you're doing a power building workout, it may be just, you may just be working on three lifts at a time, a three lifts during a day. Uh, you may be working up to maybe six lifts or so, something like that. I like to generally lift a little bit more, you know, maybe around six lifts or something like that. But sometimes I just do about three lifts. It just depends. Three lifts can easily be done. A push lift, upper body, a pull lift, upper body, and a lower body exercise like a squat. Bang, you know, you have a workout right there. So it's very simple. And simple means also usually fast. There is some unloading of the, of the iron on, on the... Uh, on the bar and things like that, that does take a little bit of time. I wouldn't say it's as fast as, let's say, calisthenics. Calisthenics is probably the fastest workout you can do because you're not uh, grabbing uh, weights or anything like that. You're just doing it all with body weight and that's very, very fast. So as far as efficiency goes, pure efficiency, I would go with body weight for sure. But power lifting or power, well, you know, power building, yeah, power lifting can be efficient too. But power building is, is quite efficient. Uh, and, and it can be quite fast as well. It's not super fast. If you do about three exercises, you know, you could get a workout done in, you know, 35 minutes, including some warm-up and things like that. Uh, when you're putting about six exercises in there, it might be closer to one hour. It really depends, uh, but you can make it uh, pretty quick. Okay, so s number three of power building benefits for older men was simple. Number four was fast. They kind of go together, simple and fast. Um, when things are simple, they tend to be fast as well. Last two here, power building benefits for older men. Uh, fifth is strength, kind of an obvious one. You're gaining strength. As you get older, you want strength. You don't want to lose your strength. Now you're going to, most people are going to lose a certain amount of strength from their peak strength when they're younger. But you don't want to get really weak. I mean, you want to maintain as much strength as you can as you get older. And um, so power building is right in there. It's definitely something that you can focus on a few different lifts and get very strong in those, in those compound lifts uh, and stay strong. Um, stronger generally than a, body, than a body builder would be because of the compound nature of the lifts versus the simple uh, nature of the lifts with, with a uh, body builder. Okay, last one. Uh, benefits, six ben of the six benefits for um, older men for power build power building benefits for older men. And number six is muscle. And that kind of goes with number six, five, two, strength. Although strength and muscle don't necessarily always go exactly together. Uh, that could be a whole nother video, but you may know what I'm talking about there. But in any case, you do power building in a way generally to build some muscle. You're not usually just doing some uh, uh, deadlifts for singles, you know, heavy singles or something like that. You're not a competitive power lifter where you're just going for pure, pure strength. So you're going to be doing a little bit more in terms of repetitions. You're going to be doing maybe five repetitions at a time, something like that, instead of maybe two repetitions at a time for just pure strength. So you're going to be getting uh, muscle on that as well. If you're, you're building in the range of at least five repetitions, if you're working hard enough, you're going to build good muscle on that as well. So that's it. I'm going to do... Um, Coming up, I'll do you know more uh, videos on power building. I might do a workout for you, a sample one, uh, one of my next videos. I think that might be nice, just to do a little bit of a sample video, video so you get an idea of what power building might look like in, in, a, in a workout situation. So that's it. Um, go to oldschoolus.com for more information on this video. Like, subscribe, all those great things. Ring the bell. You want to get the information right away. And when I'm, I'm putting out more and more videos these days and uh, good content, I specifically, I mean, it's for everybody, but especially if you're an older guy 
and uh, it might have some injuries that you're working through. I'm working through injuries kind of all the time. My whole life I've been working through injuries and surgeries and things of that nature. So uh, if you want to work through things and keep being able to train and at an, at an age where you're getting older, I'm 59 now, God willing I'll be 60 this year, and I want to keep training. I love to train. Uh, I love the benefits of it and I love just to do it. I'm one of those people that just loves to train. Some people love to train. That's me. So if you have any questions on that, you know, uh, feel free to get in touch with me. And um, info at oldschoolus.com is, my, is uh, my email. And uh, just go to the website, uh, oldschoolus.com, and find out all, all the things. I'm doing consultation, coaching. I also have my Greek physique uh, ebook, which I just updated for 2020, which is very cool. You can go to my website and see that. All right, enough said. Uh, let's get to working out. So as we go, I'll show you more of this, but there are many benefits to power building for older men. And there's benefits for everybody, but especially if you're an older man, don't miss out on this. All right, thanks for being with me today, and I'll see you next time.